Hi there. My name is James. I'm a teacher of mathematics for many years. Uh, the topic for today is SADS and later we are going to do logarithms. But for today we would like to start with the SADS and the objectives are two to learn how to add SADS and also how to subtract SADS. Uh, we start off with uh, what a SAD is. A SAD is any number that cannot be exp expressed in the form of P of a Q, in a fractional form. Uh, uh, some examples are given here. Uh, the square root of 2, square root of 3, when 2 is put under the square root sign. If we were to try to simplify it further, we would get a number that is not exact. The same with the square root of 3, square root of 5, square root of 7, square root of 11, and many others. If you take a number like square root of 14, you realize that it can still be simplified because 14 can be expressed as 2 times 7. So it would be a combination of two sides, square root of 2 and square root of 7. So with these examples now, we would like to see how we can add them and subtract them. Let's look at an example. The easiest way of handling these ones is by considering each of the sides the way we would consider uh, a letter like a if we considered root 2 to be like the letter a then we can say 2a and this one would also be a so that we can now compare the addition of these two sides to the addition of uh, 2 a plus 3a. Therefore, when adding 2 root 2 to 3 root 2, we expect to get 5 root 2. I have just chosen a, but you can take any other letter like x, y. Any letter can represent a sign. Let's look at uh, an example where we have uh, both, I mean, where we have different types of sides. Let's look at this one. So we realize here that we have root 3 and root 7. So we would uh, take this one to be like simplifying an expression, an algebraic expression, which has A and B. So that uh, we could say, let root 3 equal to A, for instance, and root 7 equal to B. And therefore, our expression up here becomes 6a plus 2a plus 4b plus 16b. As an, uh, as an algebraic expression, this becomes a very easy expression to simplify because this would be equal to 8a plus 20b. Therefore, the given expression becomes simply 8 root 3 plus 20 root 7. We want now to look at uh, subtraction and it follows the same procedure. 
Let's look at an example. So we have 3 root 7 minus 2 root 7 minus 4 root 7. We would treat it the same way as we did in the other case. We let root 7 be represented by a letter, for instance, B. And this becomes 3B minus 2B minus 4B. And this is uh, 3B minus 6B which would make it negative 3b. Therefore, our expression therefore simplifies to negative 3 root 7. So it is clear that whenever we are adding or subtracting sides, it is good to treat them like they were letters like the ones we work with in algebra and simplify them as in these examples that we have just done. We would like to stop there. Remember to sub subscribe so that in the next lesson we can look at multiplication and division of SADs together.